Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will be using Venn diagrams to calculate the probability of a specific event occurring. A Venn diagram is a graphical tool used to sort a sample space into meaningful groups which may assist in calculating the probability of a specific outcome. Quite a few words there. Let's have a look at a diagram and it might just all start to make sense. Yeah. A Venn diagram specifically has a box which contains our entire set of, or our, our sample space really. This symbol here is used to represent the universal set. And in here, these circles represent, use, are used to represent sets. We have a set of elements known as A, another set known as B. All the elements associated with A will be in this circle all the way around here on the inside of this one. All the elements associated with B will be in this circle here. Now, if I'm looking for all elements which are A or B, I'm looking at everything that's in here or in here. So in other words, it's contained within this boundary here. If I'm looking for all the elements that are in A and B, that means they have to be in both. So it's the bit that overlaps here. It's these ones here, inside there. Those ones there are A and B. And if I was looking for something that was not in A, I'll actually highlight that. Effectively, it means that not in A, well, basically, is everything that's on the outside of that. All of this not in A. So that one I've just highlighted, not in A. And just moving along a little bit. Yeah. Typical sample problem. Let A or if you wish, set A be numbers which are multiples of 2. In other words, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. Let B be numbers which are multiples of 3. In other words, 3, 6, 9, 12. And our universal set are all the numbers which are in the range 1 to 20. In other words, all the numbers 1 to 20 inclusive are within here. And I'm going to select a number at random and I want to know what is the probability this number will be a multiple of 3. So what I need to do, consider each number in isolation and look to see where it fits. So number 1 is on the outside. It's not a multiple of 2, not a multiple of 3. The number 2, well, that is a multiple of 2. The number 3 is just a multiple of 3. 4 okay, is a multiple of 2. 5, it is not a multiple of 2 or 3. Yeah. 6 is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 3. 7 is on the outside. 8 is just a multiple of 2, 9 is just a multiple of 3, 10 is just a multiple of 2, 11 is not a multiple of 2 or 3, 12 is a multiple of both A and B, 13 is not a multiple of 2 or 3, 14 is just a multiple of 2, 15 is just a multiple of 3. 16, 
17. A 10 is a multiple of both. 19 and 20. So you can see here, this is the grouping of our meaningful information inside this box circle here, multiples of two. Inside this one here, multiples of three. Inside here, multiples of two and three. And inside both circles, like this, are multiples of two or three. And on the outside here, are numbers which are not multiples of two or three. So, now if I wish to calculate the probability of selecting a multiple of three, well, I would say there are how many are, are multiples of three? Well, there are six. Three here also multiples of 2, and 3 here. There is my 6 out of a total of 20 numbers. What about multiple of 3 and a multiple of 2? Well, we have 3 of those. Those numbers there, the 6, the 12, and the 18, are multiples of both 3 and 2. Multiple of 3 or a multiple of two. Well, that's all of those numbers here. And there are 13 in that grouping, in the A or B grouping. And do I have another question? Yes, I do. Not a multiple of three. In other words, my multiples of three are inside this set here, inside that circle. So how many are outside that circle? Well, you add those all up, there are 14 around there and around here. Just plug my battery in before. Okay, let's move on to the next question. We're almost there. From a group of 20 students, 10 like AFL football, six like basketball and two like both and i want to represent this information in a venn diagram the afl football is within this circle here the basketball is in with this circle here both would be inside here and sorry correction both is in here. It means you like AFL and basketball. That's here. So let's look to put some numbers in here. I always start with the one that says both. And I have two people that like both AFL and basketball. Now, 10 like AFL. So 10 have to fill this circle here. So if 10 fill there, how many do I put? I need to have eight. These eight, just they're the ones that like AFL only. And likewise, well, I have six that like basketball, so I need four here. That four plus that two make up my six that like basketball. And have I got all my information? Well, I need 20 people in total in this universal set. How many do I have? 8 and 2 are 10, 14, so I need another 6 people here. Now, if I select a person at random, what's the probability they will like AFL? Well, how many like AFL? That's in this big A circle here, this A set. 10 people. Okay, so equals 10 out of the 20. What about those that like AFL or basketball? Well, they have to be in the A or the B circle. So 8 and 2 and 4. 14 out of the 20. What about if they like AFL and they like basketball? 
Well, for the AND operation, it is these here. They have to be in both circles. 2 out of the 20. And what about they don't like AFL and basketball? In other words, they're on the outside of here. So how many are outside of there? I've got the 8, the 6, and the 4. There you go, there's the 18. Well, that's it. So, thank you for watching this presentation on solving some problems using Venn diagrams. And I hope you have a much better understanding. And until next time, good maths. Bye for now.